So here's another little hack. Uh, most people that are using Young Living are probably already onto um, the massage oils. There's a heap of different massage oils that they do. The one that I love to use is the OrthoWay. As you can see here, I've got a couple of bottles, uh, one of which is empty. Uh, now, I'll end up buying another massage, OrthoWay's massage oil from Young Living, but sometimes I just like to reuse the bottles and, uh, and make one up. And I can sort of tinker around a little bit with the recipe and um, make it the way that I'd like to make it. So let's have a look at that and we're going to make up our own ortho is here um, with a slightly different recipe. What I'm going to do is I'm going to base it on one from the oil and gas, oil and gas, oil and glass recipe book and it's going to be roughly based on their Joyful Joints Balm. Um, instead of using a solidified coconut oil, I'm going to use V6. And we're, we're also going to switch out the marjoram uh, for um, oregano. So let's have a look and we'll see how we make it. So there's a couple of ways to go here. Um, you can use your V6 complex vegetable oil, which is a great, as I said, a great oil for all skin types. Um, another one that you could use is organic rosehip oil, which is what I'm going to use because it does have excellent properties when it comes to um, joints and muscles. And that's definitely what I need. Uh, rosehip oil, definitely not a cheap oil, um, definitely more expensive than V6 actually. But as I said, uh, fantastic for what I want to use it for. Um, rosehip oil uh, comes in, I sell that one for... $115 for a 500 ml bottle so it's not a cheap oil but as I said fantastic if you don't want to use it um, in this sort of a scenario you'd rather use it in a roller ball that's fine that's what I normally do um, and I would normally use v6 but I'm going to try using the uh, the rose hip um, in this massage oil for this for this time Okay, so I've filled that up with my organic rosehip oil, and now we're just going to add our essential oils uh, one at a time, and I'll quickly run through what they are. So the first one I'm going to add is Panaway. That's one that comes in the starter kit. Great oil uh, when it comes for joints and muscles and that sort of thing. So we're going to add 10 drops. I'll just stop that for a second there because it seemed to be slow go but I got my 10 drops out of there so our 10 drops of Panaway next one we're going to add is ginger oil so for ginger we're going to add eight drops smells fantastic all right, our next oil that we're going to pop in there is lemongrass. Lemongrass is great for when muscles are fatigued and so on. I'm uh, going to add 10 drops of lemongrass in there. I don't know if you can hear that rain in the background, but it's fairly pelting down here at the moment. Copa Iba. Uh, fantastic oil. If you don't know much about Copa Iba, I suggest you have a look um, at why I'm putting it in this. I'm going to add 10 drops. Um, just a fantastic oil. It's got the properties in it. Um, I really have to be careful exactly how I say, but it, as far as um, supporting joints and muscles, brilliant oil. The next oil I'm going to add in there is frankincense. Uh, basically, it's a go-to oil, um, has fantastic properties also for supporting the body. We're going to add eight drops of frankincense. And the last oil that we're going to use is the one that I've um, 
substituted out margarine for and I'm going to add in oregano instead and we're going to go with eight drops of oregano so we've done that now um, I am adding all the eight drops I'm just uh, pausing the video because some of these are taking a bit longer to drop out there than others I'm actually going to add, this isn't in the recipe, but peppermint I think is a must have when we're talking about muscles and joints. Peppermint also a great layering oil if you want to get things in nice and deep. Peppermint's one of those oils you can put in um, on first and then make sure you do use a carrier oil. But peppermint's great for layering. So I've got that in there. I've added... Um, about 10 drops of that in there and so we've got now it's a unique oil it's not ortho ease it's got slightly different ingredients than what ortho ease would have um, but we've got a great oil there now that i've made up just using the old ortho ease bottle um, and a really good oil oil there to support my um my um hip uh, my joints and my muscles so i'm looking forward to using that